Where are the animals? There are no animals here. Don't be silly. We are outside the zoo. That's why there are no animals here. Don't act foolish in front of the earthlings. We are supposed to be in the zoo, not outside. Let's quantum jump again. I can't wait to see those creatures. No. We must go to the entrance like earthlings do. We must pay for the tickets. So the money collected can be used to feed the animals in the zoo. Gee, now I understand. I will donate all my Malaysian money to them. I don't want the animals to go hungry. Let's go. from Earth are so unique. I really love looking at them. I am glad to see you are both happy here. You guys must know this. All living things reproduce to ensure that they continue to exist on this planet. This is important because all living things depend on each other in order to live. Therefore, these living things have their own way in ensuring the survival of their species. I know that too. <laughs> yeah, right. <sighs> I must leave now. Take care and good luck. Goodbye. Bye bye. When we talk about species, it means a similar type of living thing that can breed with each other and reproduce. The survival of a species means the ability of the living thing to continue to live in spite of difficulty or danger. What are you doing, Alma? Come back here! That's dangerous! It's not that dangerous. Alma is hovering over there. She will fly away if the crocodile tries to harm her. Of course, but it's still dangerous. We must take care of each other to survive on this planet. Crocodiles and dinosaurs have lived for millions of years. They have existed since the prehistoric ages. But then, dinosaurs became extinct and today, only the crocodile has survived. Their ability to survive is quite amazing. All animals have their own way to survive. This is to ensure the survival of their species. All animals love their young. They make sure their offspring are able to grow into healthy adults which can later produce their own young. Some animals lay and take care of their eggs in the nest. Birds and ants protect their eggs this way. Some animals lay their eggs in the sand by digging it. Then they cover them up so the predators can't find their eggs. The turtle, tortoise and crocodile protect their eggs this way. Some animals stay with their eggs until they hatch. They keep their eggs warm and protect them from predators. Hence, ducks and snakes protect their eggs this way. Some animals that lay eggs carry them everywhere they go. Prawns and spiders protect their eggs this way. Some animals on this earth hide their eggs in order to protect them. But the hiding places are different from one another. This is a grasshopper. It hides its eggs in the soil. This is a snail. It hides its eggs in between the rocks. This 
is a butterfly. It hides its eggs on leaves. Do you know that the eggs of some animals have special features that protect them from their enemies? Let me show you. The cockroach eggs are kept in an egg case. Frog, snail and fish eggs are covered in slimy jelly. Hen, duck and bird eggs have hard shells. Look at that! That's a little horse! It's still small but her mother has left her there. That is a pony, you silly. It's in the family of horses but a pony is small. It does not grow as big as a horse. That is an adult pony. Huh? Uh, I know that. I was just joking. <laughs> Talking about young and small animals, the newborn animals and newly hatched animals are very weak. They have just been born and know nothing about life on this planet. That's why the animals protect and take care of their young to ensure they continue to live and become healthy adults. They are so responsible. Animals like birds build a nest for their young ones to stay. Rabbits build their homes underground for their young. Rats also build their homes anywhere they think is safe and hard for their enemies to find. Some animals like the elephant will stay in herds to protect their young. Giraffes also do the same thing like elephants. Monkeys also stay in groups to make sure they protect their young ones together. A kangaroo will carry its young in its pocket everywhere it goes. Scorpions will carry their young on their backs. Some fish carry their young in their mouth. Animals are so protective, aren't they? They are just like my mother. I miss her already. Don't worry, we'll be back home after this mission is complete. My mother always cooks for me. How about animals? Do they feed their young? When you were a baby, you were fed milk. The same goes for animals. Some of them give their milk to their young. Some animals like cats breastfeed their young. Tigers also breastfeed their young so they become healthy and strong. I know one thing for sure. The animals that cannot take care of their offspring usually produce a lot of eggs. For example, mosquitoes, frogs and turtles. Some animals, such as the cat and mouse, give birth to as many offspring as they can to ensure their survival. Look at that! What kind of cage is that? An earthling's cage? That's a restaurant, you silly! Not a cage! People go to eat there! It's a cage, alright! The cage for hungry people like me! <laughs> You are always hungry. Eh? Alma? You're hungry too? Wait! Wait for me! 